So, Lone Rider here. And um, I wanted to talk about what to do if you have a problem with a stripped screw. You'll notice uh, this type of Spyderco knife, this is a Delica with a Warncliffe style blade, normally has three screws that hold the um, pocket clip on. And this only has two. Now, the reason for that is the other one's here. And if the camera will focus, you can sort of see it there. There's a slit across the top. Um, what happened is these have a what's called a Torx head. It's a little star-shaped thing. And um, the Torx screwdriver, for lack of a better word, that I was using, uh, the end was worn down and it didn't engage properly. And it started to strip the inside of the... Um, the star-shaped opening. So this was rounded out, and I actually couldn't get it out. Now, there are various ways you can do it. A strip Torx head, often, um, you can fit a small Allen key in there if you have one the right size. I have several sets of Allen keys. The problem is they're all for bikes. You can see the park tool there. And um, they're metric. And it was just slightly off. Now, I do have one that's uh, non-metric, but the problem is it didn't go small enough. That's the smallest it went. So I was left to choose another method. And because it was the last screw of the three, the, the one at the top, um, I realized I could go horizontally across it with a file and not hit the other screws. So I went horizontally across it. I put a slit. As you can sort of see there in the end. Um, and then I used a flathead screwdriver to remove the screw. So there is an option if you strip a small screw. And not just on you know, something like a Spyderco pocket knife. But on anything really. Um, you know, uh, sunglasses or you know, other, other things where you have these tiny screws. Um, but in, in my case, usually they're encountered most often, especially the little ones, on um, uh, the clips on pocket knives and sometimes on the rest of the construction as well. You'll see this Delica is entirely Torx screws. So uh, if you do get one stuck, remember you can use an Allen key. If that doesn't work, it's always possible to, uh, you know, to, to cut a slit to facilitate the use of a flathead and um, the thing you just want you just want to be very careful to go really slow with your uh, file I gotta cut my fingernails you you just want to be really careful to go very slow with your file and not have it slip um, and that's what I did there so there is an option for removing these that doesn't involve you know any kind of fancy tools or whatever just a you know oops just a file and um, you know a flathead screwdriver, uh, but that's definitely something to consider if you're, you know, working on one of these and something gets stripped. Um, and then this, uh, just wanted to point out, this isn't the stock clip. This is actually the clip that came off my Spyderco Para 3, and um, I put another clip on that, and so I ended up with this line around, and I said to myself, uh, it's kind of fancy looking. Let me bling my, my uh, Warncliffe Delica. Um, it's kind of funny, only in as much as the reason I took it off the Para 3 was because uh, it was very shiny and obvious, but whatever. So, there we go. Uh, that's that. And, like I said, if you strip one of these screws, you can always find an option to, uh, to get it out. Another thing is that as long as you have two screws, the pocket clip will be stable. In fact, a lot of the aftermarket low-profile or, or deep-pocket carry clips... Yeah, the ones that loop over or that, that start higher up. A lot of them only have two screw holes. And um, while they're designed for mounting on something like a Spyderco that may have three three holes, they only use the two side ones. So uh, it is a viable option to have a clip with only two. In, in other words, if you if you have to get rid of, get rid of one of the screws, uh, as long as the two screws are here and here, you're fine. That you, that you uh, have remaining. So, Lone Rider out. And uh, stay cool.